Yo, YouTube, YouTube, what's going on? Trey back again to hit you with a video. Now, I hope you all have had a very good week so far and also spending your weekend doing uh, things around your house, whether it's having fun with your family, your friends, or your kids, or knocking the boots. Who cares? But anyway, this has been one hell of a week. I mean, it's been so many revelations coming out this week, and I knew from last Sunday all the way up until this Sunday, which will be tomorrow, that it was going to be... Uh, a big catch, if you know what I mean, a catch of hell. A lot of things just come into the light, all kinds of skeletons being revealed, all kind of fake imposter friends coming out the woodwork. A lot of things, just like in this story, in the case of the Dallas situation, where we have an update to the story with uh, the white police officer, Amber Geiger, and also the guy, uh, John Bottom. Well, Bottom John, I think his name. Yeah, Bottom John. I want to say his name, right? Excuse me. But anyway, this is an update to the story that came out around September the 6th, where we have this man that was basically inside of his apartment, inside of his boxers or his underwear, or what we say down south or all over the country, his drawers, basically in his own sanctuary, in his habitat, where, right there where he belonged in his house. And then, lo and behold, some helper out the clear blue, out the blue on yonder, comes along and shoots the man dead inside of his own apartment. And then she want to claim that she thought that she was at her apartment. She thought he was an intruder. Behind the hell did you not know that you was at the right uh, apartment? And that was up for a lot of debates. Like they had a picture going around the internet of him and supposedly her, but some people say it was her in the picture. And some people says it wasn't her in the picture with him and her and like two other Caucasian women basically in the picture. So people like, well, were they messing around or was it more to the story than like Transformers say meets the eye? And I thought the latter, and I thought it was, yes, it's more to the story than meets the eye. But come to find out, they have indicted her for murder. Now, remember, they arrested her a little bit after, but she never spent no time in jail. As a matter of fact, it took a while for them to arrest her, but they charged her with manslaughter. So we're like, well, manslaughter, how can you murder a guy cold-blooded in his own home? Because if you're not safe in your own home, you're safe no damn way. I don't care. What kind of car you got? I don't care what part of the country you're in. If somebody can walk into your home and shoot you dead in your home, well, we might as well just throw the whole laws away and everything. So the grand jury have come along and basically indicted her. People might want to know what the grand jury is. To break it down, it's a law and body and legal process that just discuss basically if they have enough evidence to charge this person with said crime. It's like it's like an outside body. It don't have really any, anything to do with the court itself because it doesn't preside over the court functionings, but they are uh, pretty much are a group of people, law-abiding citizens, and they come together and basically speculate and debate if this person should be charged. And lo and behold, they charge Amber with murder. Now she's facing a murder charge. It's like she should have been facing the whole damn time because I knew from the moment I first heard this story, I said something is wrong with this damn story. I smell some shit in it. And yes, it was a whole lot of shit. I'm going to read a snippet from this story and I'm going to give my opinion. Yes, I am. All of it. Surely, as we go, and I will be uh, trademarking that term soon as possible. Ex-Dallas officer who fatally shot black man inside his own apartment indicted on murder charge. Amber Geiger was initially charged with manslaughter for the fatal September the 6th shooting of Bottom John. And it took them a long time to get a damn near long and what it took to get Bin Laden, didn't it? Now, the former Dallas officer who shot and killed an unarmed black man inside his apartment which she said she mistook for her own, was indicted on a murder charge. How in the hell did you mistake somebody's apartment for your own? I mean, damn, if you walk into my place, you're going to know off the chain, this is not, this, this not my place because it's going to look totally different than yours. And I'm sure most men, most men, apartments are different than a female apartment. I mean, let's just be honest. I mean, if we dress different, the apartment should look different. Like you all may have all kind of look pink shit on the wall, flowers and stuff everywhere. I like flowers too, but you may have all kind of feminine stuff everywhere. And a man, you know, you're probably going to not see that too much. Now, Amber Geiger, who's 30 years old, but look every bit. Uh, 50 years old. Yes, 50 years old. Y'all thought I was going to say 60 or 70. Look, every bit of 50 now. She looked at 40 at first when they got with the manslaughter because she slowly aged. You know what I'm saying? She went from this to, and when they gave her that murder charge, she went, that's exactly how she looks. She looked every big a bit of 50 years old right now. She was arrested after, uh, well, she was arrested on the September 9th, three days after she allegedly shot Bottom John. She was initially arrested on a manslaughter charge, though. Three days after she killed this guy, gunned him down in her apartment, she was arrested on a manslaughter charge. And we like, what the hell is going on? 
everybody across YouTube started making videos about this. I mean, you had people who make game videos started chiming in like, what the hell is going on? I could be in here playing my game on live stream. You know, they have these gaming channels and they can just bust in here right now and just kill me. So you had people all on the beauty channels and stuff, putting their makeup on, talking about the situation. I'm like, whoa, this shit is going to be bigger than a pot of gumbo. Let's continue. Now, she was charged with manslaughter and was released, though. That was a strange thing about it. From jail on a $300,000 bond the same day she was arrested. And you might say, well, damn it, she got $300,000 and she can make that $300,000 bond. You know, who helped her? Was it uh the FOP, the Fraternal Order of Police, or was it other outside sources? Or do her family got money? What the hell is going on? How in the hell did she make this uh high-ass bond? Now, Dallas County District Attorney Faith Johnson, I thought they were going to say Faith Evans as soon as I get home, said during a press conference that a grand jury returned the murder charge after they presented evidence and explained the law. Basically saying this heifer is down bad. Y'all got to be dumb as hell to sit up here and think that she could mistakenly mistake somebody apart from her, which is not even on the same floor. And walk in there and see a guy and shoot him in his own place and then try to justify it, saying that she feared for her life and she told him to stop. How are you going to tell somebody to stop in his own damn place? You can't tell me to stop. I ain't in here raping and killing no damn body and nothing like that. You can't sit up here and do that. So she basically tried to justify gunning this guy down inside his own drawer. You could at least let me put on some Calvin Klein jeans, some Dickies or something like that. You didn't have to shoot me down in my underwear. And, I, and you better hope they wasn't no Superman underwear. You feel me? Now... They said the grand jury. You don't want to be in front of no damn grand jury. You better ask uh, Takashi 6 9 and uh, shot it, bald head ass. They said we did a full, complete presentation to the grand jury. And when they said full, complete, they broke that shit down. You feel what I'm saying? You ever call somebody cheating and you just explain everything. I've seen you go from point A to point B to point C to point D, even to E. When they break it down like that, they give a full presentation that's your ass mr postman now johnson said declining to say what evidence was shown to the grand jury basically we can go back and say since they said she declined to tell the media what evidence was shown this one was shown she presented the evidence and explained the law look you cannot so-called mistakenly go to somebody's house kill them and say it was a mistake and say that you thought about breaking your place when it wasn't your place that's law Point A, point B, point C. I'm not a damn police, and I know that, but I know some of my people watching right now are cops, and some of them meeting ages. What's up? Now, anyway, it says, at the moment of this shooting, it was an intentional and knowing offense, the grand jury said. Basically saying she knew she was down bad in our terms. She knew she was down bad for that shit. She was hella wrong, like my people say in Cali. Hella. Geiger said she had left work, drove to her apartment, but got off on the wrong damn floor. How did you get off on the wrong floor? Did you ever not see the movie, The, the Wrong Turn? You know what happened when you make the wrong turn? Somebody wind up there, and I'd be damned if it didn't happen in this situation. The only thing about it, it wasn't the wrong turn. It was the wrong floor, but it was a wrong turn that she made when she decided to head toward that guy's apartment. Now, she says she made a turn. Uh, She went to the wrong floor, excuse me, and went to Jean's apartment according to an arrest warrant. According to the warrant, Geiger said it was dark. She said... She saw a figure she did not recognize and believe she had encountered a burglar. So if he was white, could you have seen him? Ugh. And 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 also, I'm sure he said something. You feel me? So how could you think all this other stuff? And, and you talking about, well, she just got through working 15 hours. Well, shit, I done worked 17, 18 hours one damn day before. I mean, shit, damn it, broke my back when I was in Houston working at Igloo. Y'all know what I'm talking about over there in Katy, Texas? Yes, Worked the shit out of us. I said, damn hell with this shit. They can have this office job. But anyway, so 15 hours ain't nothing. Then I had to drive way over there back toward Sugar Land. Let's continue. Now, she said she saw, she seen a dark figure in the background and she couldn't recognize and she thought that the person was a burglar. She couldn't recognize who the person was. Now, Geiger also claimed that the person did not follow her commands. <laughs> Trick, I'm in my apartment. I ain't got to follow your damn command. It's just like you, 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 my next door neighbor. You coming to my damn place and telling me you need to cook some chicken up in here. You need to, you need to go, uh, plant some, uh, butter beans or something. Like, what the hell? This is my place. I do what I want to do in here. Or you need to go take a bath. No, you need to get your ass out of my apartment. She said that she broke in this guy's apartment, basically, and then gave him verbal commands and then shot him down when he didn't comply. What kind of BS shit is that? Now, Jean, a 26 year old native of the career, a career, Caribbean, Island of St. Lucia died at the hospital. Man had his whole life ahead of him. 26 years old, took by took out by an old face helper. Yes, he was. His mom, Allison Jean, and my condolences goes to you, Miss Allison. Miss Allison, 
previously told reporters that he had moved to Dallas to work at Prince Waterhouse Cooper's. Sounds somewhere like a whole bunch of BS be going on with a name like that. No, not Prince, Price Waterhouse Cooper's. During Friday's news conference, John mom said he was satisfied with the murder charge. Yes, an eye for an eye. You know, that's what America was built on, an eye for an eye and a whole lot of bloodshed. You feel me? But basically, you got to have an eye for an eye because anytime that you get police or make them think they have the power, which a lot of them already think they do, to go in people houses and, and, and say they mistakenly see the, the mouth can say anything you feel me? you you can say anything you can say you uh black when you white you can say you rich when you poor you can say you hungry when you full full of shit you feel me so the mouth is bound to say anything so forget what people say you feel me because people people talk like every day just like i ask shit every day let's continue before i get too deep in this now during friday's news conference john's mom said she was satisfied with the murder charge i truly believed she inflicted tremendous evil on my son. Ooh, sound like somebody coming from the heart. Allison Jean said he didn't deserve it. He was seated in his own apartment. He felt safe in that apartment. and He was violated by her coming in and murdering him. Basically, no different than somebody pulling a kick dough and telling you to lay down on the floor. They want the cheese and the money. Everybody got to go. Ain't no difference in that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Now, Geiger was fired from the Dallas Police Department. Of course, she should have been fired right immediately then. After an internal affairs investigation found that she had engaged in adverse conduct when she was arrested, according to a tweet by Police Chief Renee Hall. See, first they were trying to protect this heifer. Now they're ready to slide her ass all up under the bus like, get your ass on that bus. You is not finna make us lose credibility and lose funding. You feel me? They'll shut our ass down and I'm gonna lose this job I've been working on 20, 30 years for you? Hell no. It was hard as hell for me to get to be a police chief. Now, Dallas Mayor Mike Rawlins said at the time that Geiger's firing was the right decision. It should have been done a long, 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 long time ago. Now, in a statement following Geiger's indictment announcement, Hall said that the department continues to feel anguish. You should have. You should have. This left a bad scar on the department and also everybody in damn Texas and all across the damn country and some of the world, because believe me, the world watching too right now. You know, a, a, like, like I tell people, America is like the pinnacle. It's, it's, it's like it's like uh, the center of Earth. Everybody has a light watching us. They watch everything we do over here in this country. That's why we, we rap over here. You got other people all in Japan rapping, yeah, 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 all that shit. You got people all over there in Saudi Arabia trying to be rappers. You ain't never heard, heard them before? I mean, so they watch everything that goes on. So, uh, look, the world is watching you, America. Do the right thing, like Spike Lee said. Damn it, is it that hard to do the right thing? Let's continue. Now, how said the department continues to feel anguish about what happened and that they were working to make charges internally. It took too damn long. You feel me? It's a phrase we have down south. I don't know if y'all use this phrase on the East Coast or the West Coast. Well, I heard people on the West Coast say it and up north. I don't know if you really uh, use this term. We call shit or get off the pot. It took them a long time to shit. And we were like, well, damn, are you going to get off that pot? And right when we got ready to kick that dough into that bathroom, they flushed it and, and flushed Geiger down with it and said, look, that's a murder charge right there. We were like, when are you going to hook this heifer up with this murder charge? She deserved it 100%. She, she earned that charge. Now, it also says, we have developed a framework for policy change, have supported the restructuring of the Citizen Review Board, pushed to exceed the basic requirements of implicit bias training, and have relied on input from our employee advisory and community advisory boards, the statement read. Damn, they breaking it down. But I love it. They use them long ass legalities and stuff. Just say basically you dropped the damn ball. We fucked up, but we got that bitch. That's all you got to say. That was 14 right there. Somebody gonna uh watermark that right there. Somebody gonna timestamp that. Yeah, just say basically we got it. We saw her, y'all. We took too damn long. We was trying to protect this health because she's one of us. You feel me? But how can we justify this? We can't justify that. It's just like if you got a wife or you got a husband, then a side chicken, a side dude come to your house and say, look, I'm here to spend a weekend with you. I thought your spouse was going to be gone. You can't justify certain things. But guess what? People still try to justify even when they're wrong. Even when they're wrong. They're going to go down like them guys on the damn Titanic. They band playing and shit. I'd be damned if I would have stayed on that ship. Let's finish this story. Now, they also says we have more work to do and we remain committed to improving our relationship throughout the city. They tried their best to help this helper. Geiger had turned herself in to the Mesquite Police Department and posted a 
two hundred thousand dollar bun. Damn, you done posted a three hundred thousand dollar bun. That's two hundred more thousand. That's five hundred damn thousand. So she's not even in jail for for murder, right? I mean, anybody else be sitting their ass up in jail, right? Of course, especially if you done breaking it. Why? Why? Why are you you all not hitting her with aggravated burglary? That's what it was. It's no different than you, but the thing making the difference is the fact she got that shield on or that badge. So they're still trying to protect it. They, I mean, they, they can put all kinds of charges because if it was you or me or anybody else, that would have been aggravated burglary, all kinds of shit, liable for the death penalty, really. Now, they said she had posted a $200 bug. Where is she getting this money from? I can tell you where she's getting it from. She's getting it from the FOP. They're helping her. Her trial may not happen for what? A year, another whole damn year. So we got to wait some more time. So you're back on that pot taking that shit and we saying, are oh, you going to shit or get off the pot? Because I guarantee you, <laughs> I would like to see them. I would love to see them bring a murder charge against this heifer in court. Forget you put it on paper. We won't believe it until it's done. You feel what I'm saying? I won't believe it until you put a ring on it. Like some people say, if you really like it, put a ring on it. If you really want this heifer charged with murder, convict her ass. Forget the charge, convict her. And why we got to wait a whole another damn year? That's what I want to say. Now, they say her trial may not happen for a year or more, according to the district attorney. That's a bunch of BS. Let me know what you all think. And also, also, you know, and I tell people this all the time, especially, you know, being in Dallas, being from Houston and anybody else, even in rural country cities, people get murdered every day. Just like Cameron said, I'm paid a fool. People die every day, B. Oh, no, people get shot every day, B. Excuse me, I want to say it right. Because my people be like, no, he didn't say that. He said this for my people who are movie critics. But anyway, Basically, if you inside your damn home and you go to the door, have a weapon right there beside you. But it's really nothing this man probably could have done because she was already inside his house, probably already draw down on him and everything with the intent to kill. How, you, how can you get your apartment mistaken, but you can drive from a police department because they're trying to use she was fatigued. They're trying to use that she was tired as an excuse. But how can you drive your car without crashing into anybody? And walk perfectly up. You didn't fall asleep in the car. You didn't fall asleep on the way there. So you mean to tell me that you didn't have enough sense and enough energy left in your uh system, no stamina left, and that you just went and wandered anywhere? But it's quite strange that you wandered to this guy apartment. So did y'all mess around or something? Because you know what they say, and I got to say it. Can I say it? I want to hear somebody say it. Yeah, they say, go ahead, Trey. All right. I believe the old saying, this right here, and it's the truth. Don't take it the wrong way because it's, it's nothing to do, it's nothing to do with hate or anything. But I believe they probably did mess around. And you know what they say, once you go black, you can't go back. I'm, I got to say it right there. Maybe I may be wrong. Let me know if I'm wrong. Maybe he, maybe, uh, put that mandingo on her and it blew her mind. I believe it's more to the story and all of this need, all of this need to come out. We know. We know it's more to the story, just like they said, but they're not telling us everything. I believe it was some kind of relationship going on or some kind of secret affair. And he whipped that thing on her and she just couldn't take it no more. And she decided to end it. He didn't want to be with her no more. Seeing she was a crazy ass woman and probably want to be with her no more. Men die every day like that. Women do too. Let me know what you all think. Now, I'm just saying I may be wrong, may be wrong, but my condolences goes out to his family also, because it's a very troubling matter and it's taking too long for this process because it's, 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 it's sad. And this is the reason why people look at cops the way they do, because they should be held and judged just like us citizens out here are coming. You come in civilians just because they hold a badge does not get them extra rights, even though a few, quite a few of them think they have extra rights. You have no right to go to somebody's house, kick in their door, unlock their door. However, how did you get in there? Did you have a key? How did the key work? She said the door was left ajar. Then they said the door was locked. I mean, it's all kinds of stories. So how did you get in this guy apartment? That's all I want to know. But anyway, let me know what you all think in this. And my people in the Dallas area, y'all chime in. And like I say, condolences goes out to his mom. But at the same time, this was cold, calculated, to me, premeditated murder. I don't know really the whole story with the situation for if they have a child, not a child, uh, if they was messing around with each other or whatnot, or he, or he just didn't want to be with her. But it had to be something more at play. And I wish they would say that, but they're not going to tell every damn thing. But hopefully they will convict her crazy ass because that was flat out murder. Let me know what you all think in the comment section. If you like the video, push that like button. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely share this video with your family and friends and be safe. Be safe every time I go to the dough. Every time I go to the dough, it's something waiting on your ass. It may be a toaster. It may be a Ginsu. Or it may be a Samurai Sword. But it's something waiting on you because I like that movie with DMX. <laughs> Never die alone. I'm out.